Good morning, my name is Dr. Cassandra Olds and I'm a veterinary entomologist with Kansas State University. And we are here today at the K-State Stalker Unit to talk about insecticidal ear tags for fly control. So you might be getting ready to let your cattle out onto pasture and you might be thinking about what options you have for fly control, probably predominantly horn flies, but maybe also face flies at the same time. So we're gonna talk a little bit about these insecticidal ear tags. And the, the way they work is they're similar to a regular ear tag like we have here in this, this animal, um, but they are a, they're a plastic matrix and they contain the insecticide inside of them. And as the animal moves, the insecticide contacts the skin and the oils in the skin move the insecticide from the tag onto the hair. And then the natural oils that are in the hair just spread that around. So the tag works in areas where it contacts the skin. So if you're worried about horn flies, what do these look like? You'll normally see these on the back of the animal and the neck of the animal, but they do move around the belly when it gets a little bit warmer. These are small flies. They're about 3 16th of an inch. And both the adult male and adult female blood feed 20 to 40 times a day. So each individual fly is feeding at least 30 times a day. So you can imagine when you have large numbers, that's a lot of irritation for the animal. That's why you'll see them shaking their heads a lot. And it's a lot a source of blood loss. So that's where you get your losses in production. Um, and they can also cause summer mastitis. And this happens when you have female um, animals who are either, uh, they are non-lactating. And the flies that are feeding on the teats sort of introduce the bacteria and you'll get these, these infections occurring. When we're thinking about face flies, you normally see this on the face of the animal and they only the adult female feeds on the, the animal. And what it's doing is it's feeding on the secretions of the eye, those tear secretions. And that's a source of protein that she needs to go ahead and lay her eggs. Both of these fly species need to be, um, the, the larval stages develop in fresh manure. And this is why we see them in um, cattle that are on pasture, not cattle who are in dry lot situations. So tags are a great um, method of control for both these fly species. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about what you need to know about your, your fly tags. So the first thing is that they come in a number of different formats. So there's, they're produced by a number of different companies and each one has their own little proprietary format. And most of what you need to know about your tags is gonna be on the outside of the box. So the first thing that you'll see on your label is um, who it's effective against. And so for example, here we've got a Carathon um, box and it says here insecticide cattle ear tag for use on beef, non-lactating dairy cattle and controls face flies, horn flies, Gulf Coast ticks and spinose ears ticks. When you look at your different products, when you lead, read that top label, it'll give you some things, some of the products you can use for lice control, some don't work against ticks. So that's always an important thing to remember. It's also gonna tell you who you should use it in. A lot of these products have recommendations for age and type of animal to use it in. Um, the second thing that is most that you're gonna see that's possibly the most important thing is over here, and this is what the active ingredient is. And this is really, really the most important thing that you need to know because sometimes what you can do is you can change products, but not active ingredients. So in this little area here, you've got the different um, products that are in here and a quick Google search can tell you what kind of product they are. And we have some brands up on the slide that um, can help you make an informed decision of what you need to do. So there's basically three kinds of active ingredients. There's pyrethroids, organophosphates, and macrocyclic lactones. We recommend that you use one product each year. So year one, you would use a pyrethroid. Year two, you would use an organophosphate. And year three, you would use a macrocyctic lactone. What this does is slows down the spread of resistance um, a little bit. So always rotate your products and remember to rotate the class of insecticide, not the type of product. Another thing you'll notice on the box is how long it's active for. And so for example, this one says that it is active up to five months. Studies that were done right here at the stock unit have shown that this is not um, as long as you will get. For horn flies, you're probably looking closer at a three month period of um, control. So knowing that it's not as long as necessarily the box says it is, try and deploy your tag when it's gonna be most effective. That's when you're gonna get the most amount of product um, 
uh, and production value out of your tag. So we recommend waiting till you have at least 100 flies on your animal and deploy them once you reach that 100 fly per head um, mark. This is not always possible. Let's say that you have calves and they're getting ready to go out on pasture and you're only keeping them for two or three months. Even if you apply your tags before the start of the, the, or the peak of fly season, you will still see about a $17 to $18 profit when using ear tags. So they definitely are a worthwhile investment. In the product labels, you'll often see that they will recommend how many tags to use. So they'll say, one tag for adequate control, two tags for exceptional control. Remember how I told you earlier about how these tags work, that they rely on the movement of the animal's head and contact with the body. If you only have a tag in one ear, you're only covering one half of the animal's body with the, the pesticides. So we always recommend to use two tags. You might think, oh, well, I can't afford that. You would be surprised you actually can. Studies done here again in 2012 showed that with one tag, you'll see an increase of weight gain of nine pounds. If you use two tags, you'll see an increase of 12 pounds. And there's a, um, a, almost a $2 difference in, in, in your, your recuperation. That's after you've factored in the cost of the tag. So it really does pay to use um, two tags. So um, one important thing, I mentioned that they're only effective for probably about three months. At the end of this time, you really want to make sure that you take them out and dispose of them correctly. Um, this stops the development of insecticidal resistance because once the active ingredients has leached out, you're giving sublethal doses to the, the flies that are remaining on these animals. So once you've reached that three mark limit, pull those tags out because that ensures that your flies are only getting exposure to lethal amounts of the pesticide. And um, as I said, these tags get absorbed by the oil in the animal's fur, they will also get absorbed onto the oil on your skin. So anytime that you use these tags, please make sure to use latex gloves. That's when you're applying them and when you're removing them and then dispose of them properly. So thank you for joining us here this morning when we had a bit of a chat about ear tags. Um, happy tagging and stay safe out there. <laughs>